Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to build a donor wall. Now, this also will work if you're trying to do an annual report. They're both pretty much the same report. One is with a, a time period like the last fiscal or calendar year, and one is for lifelong giving, hence a donor wall. All right, so before we begin, the way we start is to establish our giving levels. Now, for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to pick some really uh, generic ones. We're going to start with something like this. For anyone who's given a lifelong amount of $25,000 or higher, we'll make it a platinum. Uh, the next level will make gold, which is 15 to 24,999. Silver, 5,000 up to 15, and bronze would be 1,000 up to 5,000. So once we've established what we want our levels to be, whatever our, our annual report or whatever our giving level is going to be, then let me show you what we do. All right, to set up these levels in Razor's Edge so we can use them on a report, where we go is actually over here to this section called Config. Going to Config, then where I'm going to go is this section called Tables. You'll notice it in the second column. And after I go to the Tables, what I want to do is scroll down to what's called the Donor Category Tables. Now you'll see them here. I have three different tables. Let me move it sort of to the top so you can see what they do. Now, a donor category table, you can have multiple. Now, you might use different giving levels for an annual report. You might use different giving levels for like a, a donor wall. In the sample database, they have this as an example. You'll notice in the first table, you'll see a friend, curator, chairman, or founder. And even table two has another one, donor, friend, benefactor, patron. Now, each nonprofit group has their names that they like to use and it's sort of a game in my reports class how we always try to come up with the most bizarre different giving levels and so um, the last one we did was best in show you had to pick the best breed all the way down to the little you know poodle or something or chihuahua so um, to establish our giving levels what we're going to do is go to donor category table three here and notice i don't have any entries in so the way we set them up is just by clicking this button that says new table entry and we give it our name so in this case, we'll call it the platinum, and we'll put the minimum amount as 25,000. The next level we will make is the gold, and the minimum amount is 15,000. Pretty simple. And then we'll enter the remaining two. Silver was 5,000, and the last one was bronze. And that was a thousand. So now we've established our levels. And now, in order to come up with that cool donor wall that's breaking everyone down by their section, what we do now is go over to the reports module. And from reports, you'll see in the second column, you have a bunch of types of reports. And what you want to grab is this section that says analytical. Go to analytical reports. And then over here, you want to find this thing called a donor category report. Now, there's none in here, so we're going to build one from scratch real quickly. So we'll start by saying new. Now at this point is when you're going to determine the date range. So for instance, a donor wall, you will basically say all dates. If it's for an annual report, you would probably say for the previous year. Most annual reports are done on a calendar year as opposed to fiscal. So in this case, uh, you know, you, you can choose from this drop down window the date range that you want. So if you're doing an annual report, it would say this last calendar year, um, if you're doing a donor wall, what I'm going to do is just say include all dates, okay? Now, you also have the ability, where I'm not going to go into the great details of all the filters and the gift types that you can sort of uh, screen out of this. What I'm going to do, though, is come down to the bottom here and change this report type to say both. I'm going to show you what a summary looks like as opposed to just a detail. And the other thing I want to do is whenever you're doing a report, whether it's an annual report or a donor wall, you, you want to include everybody. You don't want to remove anybody just because the record is deceased or they're inactive. So make sure all of these buttons are checked. Now, what we're going to do is skip all the way to tab 7 now. And from tab 7, what I'm going to do is go give it a heading. So I'll call this my donor wall. And now notice on this left-hand side as you scroll down, it has this option that goes... Uh, Headings, criteria, detail, go to detail. And then down here is where you're going to select which of the tables uh, that you want to break down your giving by. Now we created one on table three. And so we'll choose donor category table three. 
And then if you choose this little box that says use selected categories only, notice it lists the, the actual tables that we made. And so what I'm going to do is remove them all over. And what this will do is filter out anyone that didn't meet the bronze level. Otherwise your report will print out everybody who gave a dollar all the way up to a thousand. And we don't want that. We just want the names of the people who are going to give. Now, uh, you should always do a color scheme. Why? Because you should always do things with style. Now I'm going to go ahead and preview this and let you see what the original report looks like. It's Because we chose both, it's going to generate two reports. One will be the summary report, which is going to give us a breakdown of every category, how many donors, what was the total given, and then the next would be the detail report. So here's our summary. You'll notice it says donor category, platinum, gold, silver, and bronze, and it shows the level, and it shows the number of people that were in each. All right? Now when I close that out, here's my detailed list. You'll see it shows here's the number of the people on the platinum level, and if I scroll down, it'll show here's the gold, and I could scroll to the next page, etc., etc. We have a lot of anonymous donors. <laughs> okay. Now, that's the typical report. Now let me show you a way to jazz it up a little bit better. Um, in the event that you wanted to see, for instance, how much they gave, uh, you have the ability of adding what's called an optional column. If I go back to our donor category report and I highlight optional columns, notice I have this option to say I want to take the total given and move it over. And what else I want to show you is in the event that you have a, a a mechanism where a person can decide how they want their name to go on a donor wall. For instance, let's say when um, when we run a report, and I'm going to go back and just do the detail right now so you can see this. When we run this report, you're going to see the name and the amount given, but now the name format can be customized. And let me show you how this is. So like for instance, notice I have the name Agnes Cohn here, and she is showing as given 33,000. She's in the highest level. Let's say Agnes decided she wants a special way her name, or maybe it's for her family to be recognized on this donor wall. Let me show you how this is done. So we'll actually go to her record, and I'm going to go out here. I'm going to jump to records and I'm going to find Agnes Cohn. And what I'm going to do is build on her record a custom salutation that is going to be specifically used for a donor wall. So here's Agnes. Where I will go is to the addressee and salutations box. And now notice down here under the additional addressee and salutations, what I can do is actually come and if I don't already have one, I could build one and make a donor wall inscription. And if you don't have one already in there, just hit F7. Basically, it's a table, create a new one, and then come over and type out or make it say whatever they want on their donor wall. So in this case, I'm just going to say the Cone family. And what happens is after I've saved it and I go back to my report, I can choose in that options under, under the seventh tab, down under name formats, you'll see this option that says constituent, and when we select individual, we can actually pick the salutation that it's gonna generate on the report. So what we'll say is instead of just using the individual name, we will say use a salutation from the individual, and we will go down and pick the donor wall inscription, otherwise we will use the primary addressee. You see how that works? Now once I've done this, I'm gonna go ahead and preview it so you can see what it looks like. All right, so here, after the report is generated, we'll notice that the new salutation is being used for them. It says the Cohen family. So you can do this with any individual in the database. The individuals have the ability of having additional salutations and you can make them uh, customizable. So this becomes a really helpful tool when you create your donor wall every year or if you wanna go out and create an annual report. Now, one thing, whenever you create a report, you wanna take the steps of saving it. So I'm gonna go create, uh, back to my report, and I'm gonna save this call this my donor wall report. And that's all there is to it. There is a crash course on how to build a donor wall.